Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing the 30k celebration video. Yay! Y'all, so so yeah. Matter of fact, mm, I ain't gonna look like this for y'all because I was about to just <laughs> honestly. I was just gonna go and start the video, the celebration video. I was gonna get dressed, but I'm not gonna do y'all like that. I'm about to go get sexy real quick for y'all. This big old puff ball probably still be up on my head because I don't feel like breaking it, putting my um I don't feel like breaking it, putting my um wig on. So yeah. So yeah, let me go and transform for you guys and turn from this full eye big puff ball wing. Whatever y'all wanna call me that big girl. <laughs> and go get sexy fam. Yeah, I'm trying to get back in shape. Let's see how much I weigh. Oh, hell no. Y'all, yeah. I promise I've been working out. Well, I ain't been working out like that, but I haven't been eating like that. So, I don't know why that skill is saying 181. But, we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> we're not going to worry about that because y'all know, really, muscles weigh more than fat. <laughs> so, it's probably be my muscles. <laughs> Alright, so okay, let me go get dressed. Okay, y'all, I didn't just get, I ain't do no makeup and stuff like that because it's still kind of early in the day and I have to do my makeup later on so that I can go see my hubby dubby. But, yeah, <laughs> y'all, I know that I'm late <laughs> on this video. I know y'all like, first of all, don't come on here like you ain't been in my A. But y'all, I've been in my A because I got some special for y'all. And y'all about to start seeing starting today. Y'all gonna be like, what? Who Krista Ink thinks she is? <laughs> Y'all about to see anyways. Um, I got my candles right here, you know, so that I can be in all positive vibes and no negative energy at all. Okay, let me get my little celebration glasses. Hold on, hold on. Hold screw, hold on, screw. <laughs> we at 30K. I said it first. It's cold. For real. It's cold, baby. To the God. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm not trying to get all rotty and stuff like that. I have my. This is a little two piece, y'all. I just got my little dress on over it. But yay, baby. Like, who? Who ain't reached 30K? Who? We did, and if they say we didn't, y'all already know, I don't play about y'all, <laughs> and y'all don't play about me, for, for, anyways, 30k who, 30k who, <laughs> okay y'all, so, put my hot celebration shades on, <laughs> Yeah, I'm still happy. I'm going to let y'all know where I've been to. But yes. 30K. 30K, baby. Y'all, that that's good. 
But I know if I would have been being consistent on our channel, I would be much farther. But I'm grateful because it's an achievement. It's levels to this shit. Like, who be thinking it's easy when it's really not? Why my glasses is blurry? Ray Charles to the bullshit. <laughs> Ray Charles for the bullshit. Ray Charles. <laughs> I don't see no BS. <laughs> Y'all, where's my phone? Because I have to do my Q&A as well. I've been asked y'all these questions. Y'all been gave me these questions. But I've been prolonging it. Because, y'all, I've been getting tickets. Back at the back at the back at the back. Like, for real. So, I got some tickets or whatever like that. And... I don't understand why. I mean, I don't never have no peace of mind. Never. But y'all, your girl been getting tickets, a. Eh? They been saying I've been hitting that gas. I haven't been stopping at the stop signs, a. Eh? But they be lying because not ain't lying. I be running them stop signs, but, but the only reason why I ran that stop sign is because I was absolutely in a hurry. So. They gonna tell me. He talking about some. <laughs> you know I stopped you, all right? And I was like, why? First of all, you a op. I'm not being friendly. We're not laughing. We're not doing none of that. He like, <laughs> you know I stopped you, right? And I was like, why? And he like, you didn't stop completely at the stop sign. And I was like, what? He was like, you didn't see me? <laughs> and I'm like, no. You think if I seen you, I ain't say this though, but I was saying this in my head. You think if I seen you, I would have, I would have ran at the stop sign. No, I didn't see, cause y'all be trying to be sneaky. That's y'all be trying to do. Y'all be trying to be sneaky and catch people like me that be don't be stopping all the way at the stop sign stuff. So he was like, "Can I have your driver's license, your insurance, and stuff like that?" And I was like, I don't have my insurance, but my insurance on my uh, my t my plate or whatever like that. Gave him my driver's license. I had driver's license, y'all. Y'all know people our age don't really be driving around with no insurance on our car. So it was ins I had the insurance. I gave him a driver's license, and we showed him we had a driver's license, but I had all that. So I thought that he was going to be a genuine person and just let me go with a warning. He was like, <laughs> unfortunately... I'm going to have to give you, you a citation. And I was like, I can't never uh, get a warning. Like, I can't never get a warning. Like, y'all always write my ticket or whatever like that. And he was like, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, he's steady laughing and stuff. Like, like this a laughing matter. Like, nobody not laughing. So, he like, <clears throat> I'm sorry. You ain't got it. I had already typed it up. So, I'm going to have to give it to you. And I was like, okay. And I got my ticket. I shit my throat. I already had got a ticket. So, it's no point of me to try to talk all nice and stuff. Like, officer, why? <laughs> why you doing that? You know, it's not no point of me doing that. You know what I'm saying? If he already wrote my ticket. So, tell me why my mad ass. I I'm happy he didn't follow me. Because, bitch, I had, when I drove off, I rolled over the fucking curve. Trying to be mad. I'm happy that he didn't stop me again. Thank y'all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that, for real. I'm happy that he didn't stop me again for that because he was like, have a good day. He was like, have a good day, Miss Lee. And I was like, shut my door, whatever. And I had thought that, I thought I was already around the curve, but I wasn't. Like, it was like, the curve was like right here and I was like this. So when I turned, I turned like this over the concrete and I was like, oh, shit. And then I had just hurry up and left. Or whatever like that. So that was one ticket, okay? Yeah, I've been stressed out. Like, for real. That ticket was like almost $400. Bitch, I don't know. $400 and then Christmas coming, or Christmas coming up. And I'm a single parent at the moment and stuff. Like, I've been saving all my little money. All my money from my YouTube check. All my money from my collabs. I've been saving all my money so that I can give my baby a wonderful Christmas. So... Um, he washed my collar me that, and then that was on go or whatever. I had to go to court for that. I got me a little lawyer up on that, and um, 
the lawyer had rescheduled my court date from the month after to like three months after so i had to go to court on the 11th <clears throat> y'all listening y'all keeping up with me listen i had to go to court on the 11th right so after that tell me why i went to go visit my husband okay and it's like they be saying like this free park and supposedly be downtown or whatever like that they be saying that so i thought that i parked in a free park and coming to find out i didn't they gave me another ticket another ticket oh because i'm gonna tell y'all how i go at, how i go at work okay look <laughs> listen so I was coming out of the um, jail house from seeing my husband or whatever, right? And I told him, I said, Bae, I hope I don't get a ticket. I said that. He had a feeling I was going to get a ticket. I had a feeling I was going to get a ticket too, but... It smelled, it smelled good. He thought I was going to get a ticket too, right? <laughs> so, that day, I came out the jail house. Had a ticket. Had a ticket. The lady was still there, right? People tickets. I was like, oh no, you parked right here. It said that it was um towing zone. But I'm like, I thought that that didn't count because like the parking is free after six. And she was like, oh no, you gotta go behind the meter. I'm like, what? So I talked to her nice or whatever. Like things, it really wasn't her fault because the sign was telling me not to park right there. But. I thought that it didn't matter after a certain time. So I was talking nice to her and she told me what to do or whatever. I was just going to go pay that ticket. It was um, $80 or $70 or something like that. So I was just going to go pay that or whatever. She was like, well, if you think that you're not in the wrong and you're not in fault for the ticket, you can take the ticket to court. I was like, ma'am, I already got to go to court on the 11th. I already have to go to court. So she was like, well, as soon as you get done with that um, court date, you can just go downstairs to the basement and you can just take care of this one. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, do you think that it's worth it? And she was like, yeah, you can give it a try, but just don't go up in there talking with an attitude. That's what I'm going to tell you. I was like, okay. So I had love or whatever like that. And then um, the days went by, the days went by, and I was stressing because I'm like, dang, bro, I only got like $500, $400 saved up for my baby Christmas. If they don't dismiss this ticket, I'm going to have to spend all what I've been saving up for this one little ticket. This man told me I ran the stop sign, so I was stressing and stressing and stressing. Like I said, oh, God, that's about to get that. I was stressing. So, um, then he going to sit up there and say, oh, no, 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 that's, that's blurted out. So, now we at court. This is the 11th. I was supposed to post for y'all Monday, which is, was the 11th, but I couldn't do it because y'all know I had to go to court. That's what I'm telling y'all right now. So, I went to court and stuff like that. And, um... So my uh my attorney had met me up there or whatever and I was sitting there for hours and hours and hours and um my attorney finally came up in there and he was calling everybody name who else he had a case for and he didn't call my name and before he walked up out that door and bent that door I was about to say uh you forgot one <laughs> Miss Lee <clears throat> But he he was like Miss Lee and he was like come up here and I walked up there and I was like, yes. And um, he was like, um, good news. Your case has been dismissed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I was like, what? You lied. I was like, I ain't say that I'm lying. But I was like, oh, my God. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Oh, my God. Yes. So when I was sitting right there, I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And stuff. So um, after that. I had one of my tickets got dismissed. Look how God worked. One of them got dismissed, and it was the most expensive one, which is the $4 one for running that stop sign. So that one got dismissed, right? So my parking, before my parking was uh, up, because, you know, you pay for, like, three hours parking for, like, $5. So my when, before my parking got up, I had ran downstairs to take care of that other ticket. I think that ticket was $75. I don't know. But, um... I thought, I really thought that that one was going to get dismissed too. 
but it didn't. But the good thing about it is I went up in there or whatever. Let me tell y'all. I went in there or whatever. And the what the fuck? Oh, I took a picture. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got a little cold too. So, <clears throat> I went up in there, right? Make sure y'all don't see no cookie. <laughs> but look, I went up in there, okay? And um, I thought that they was going to dismiss that one as well, but they didn't. They had broke it down. And he was like, well, since the sign right here is the girl. The lady had took a picture of my car and everything in the time that I was parking. So, it wasn't no way that I could have beat that or whatever. But God still worked in my favor because he broke it down. He, I just had to pay half of that ticket. So, I, I, I'd have... About to pay almost 500 and some dollars. I only paid $35. Hallelujah. Look at God. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I always pray. Oh, hope y'all didn't see that. I have shorts on under here too. So I hope that they don't demonetize my video. Because I really have on a two piece. But you know YouTube be tripping. But yeah y'all. They um. $35. Y'all look at this baby looking through my window. She was just right here looking through my stuff. No, for real. I'm not playing. Because one day my baby was watching Power Patrol or something on the TV. A little boy just walked to my window and was just like this looking at TV through my window. I was scared. Because who do that? Who does that? But y'all, anyways, don't look at my feet because I can't go get, my toes ain't got no polish up on it. Because y'all, look what I did to my nail. <laughs> Come on, focus on this finger. Can you focus on this finger for me? Me. Focus on this finger right here, cause it ain't got no nail on it. Y'all cannot see it, but the nail is gone. It's gone. I'm gonna cut the phone. But y'all, my nail is gone. And how my nail got cut off, that's what y'all asked. It got cut off because I was being childish. And y'all know them little, them little chopping thing. I was chopping and I was trying to go fast like I was a chef and I accidentally, uh, accidentally cut my nail off. So it hurt. And I can't get my, my nails done. And I don't be wanting to get my toes done if I can't get my nails done. Because my toes are not ugly without polish on them anyway. So, I like to get the full thing. And I can't get the full thing because my nails is out of commotion. But, y'all, I have my little... Uh, my little crystals up here. This is not, this not real ice. This like that... Um, this like that crystal, um, those crystal little ice things that you put in the freezer to keep your um, liquor cool. But this is not liquor, y'all. This is uh, wine. Oh, look at that smoke. That's pretty. Y'all can see it, no? It's called Raspberry Sparkle Latini. Um, Italian... Suprina Manina by Baridi. I'm just saying, y'all, that ain't what it say. I don't know what it say. And y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm always one deep. I'm always by myself. You know that I get this. Boom, 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 boom. It's your girl, Nat Christy, and I'm hopping on a track. Let these girls know that I stay on track. All they want to do is what top down, but they already know that I'll be buzzing in the spot. Hey, buzzing in the spot, buzzing in the spot. <laughs> okay, y'all, my hair is getting fluffy and I don't like that. Okay. But yeah, y'all, let me go to my questions that I was getting asked. I got asked some questions on Instagram. Some on 
Okay, I need to leave. Should have screenshot it. But one of them had said. Guy, but one dude he was like um he asked um what is all the jobs that I have done in my life and I have I ain't had that many jobs but my very first job was home health care I was 18 years old um and I used to do home health care I had three patients that I was taking care of, three old people I was taking care of. I did that for about a year. And then my other occupation was, um, after that one I used to work at Reliance Stadium, you know, like um, during the Super Bowl and stuff like that. And when I seen Mary J. Blige, I seen Demi Lovato, it was some more country singers, but I don't know them. But I remember Mary J. Blige and Demi Lovato, because Demi Lovato is my favorite. I love her voice. And Mary J. Blige, I just, my mom and them used to listen to her, my cousins and aunties and stuff. So I seen them, and what else? After that, I went to, um, I did that for like a year, too. And then, um, I did security. I used to do security for a public, no, a private school. No. I think it was a private school. I don't know. It was called Harmony, Harmony Private School or something like that. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. But I used to do that. I did that for like a whole school year. And then after that, that was it, because I got pregnant. And those was my only jobs. I never stripped or nothing, if that's what y'all thought I was going to say. I ain't never stripped. But I did bartender, but it was like, for the Reliant, I was just pouring beer and popping bottles, like popping the tops off the bottles. That was about it. And then um, another person had asked, what is... um. Get what type of advice could I give for uh, a YouTuber that is like a beginner YouTuber? What type of advice I can give? The type of advice I can give is one thing I be saying a lot of people do. I never done this though, but I be saying a lot of people do this when I be uh, when I be going through people comments and stuff. Cause y'all know we always go to the comments. And I always be seeing them say, I'm a new YouTuber or whatever. I'm a beginner. Could you give my page a shout out on those big uh, YouTubers and stuff? Don't do that because they're not going to shout y'all out. Like, they're not going to help y'all. I'm just being honest. Cause that's one thing about me. Like, I don't, I don't let the, like, the, I don't let that stuff go to my head. And when I get bigger, it's not going to go to my head. I'm I'm going to help people. Like, if they be in my comments and I see it. Matter of fact, because I was going to do this on Thanksgiving, but I didn't post for Thanksgiving because I told you I had a lot on my mind with them tickets and stuff. I was going to uh, do it for Thanksgiving. And, you know, in the thanks of my supporters, like, being here for me, helping me, and being with me since day one, and encouraging me and stuff. Um, if I have any um, YouTubers or anybody that want to become a YouTuber or a small YouTuber or anything like that, if y'all want me to help y'all, um, you know, like shout y'all page out or something like that, all y'all have to do is comment down below that you are an upcoming YouTuber and um tell me like what what your content gonna be based on so when i shout your channel out i can give the you know my supporters um you know a little information about like what your channel gonna be about so just comment down below like 
Um, I'm an upcoming. Y'all have to be my my supporters, like my day ones. Not nobody that just stopping by my video and you not even subscribe. And I know my day ones or whatever like that. So don't try to trick me because I'm a no. But um, just um, just be like um, I'm an upcoming YouTuber. My content is based on beauty or reacting or. You know reacting to other people or like comedy like anything like whatever your channel is going to be based on so that i can tell them well y'all go check out this channel they're going to be doing this on a channel and such and such, such you have to uh comment your channel the the uh, content that your channel is going to be based on and you also have to um have at least one video uploaded on your channel okay at least one if you don't already have multiple and you know so that they won't just be you know so they won't be just you know because some people they won't um they they won't subscribe to your channel because it's just a picture and just you know you got to have at least one video so a person can get the feel of your personality and stuff like that and they'll know if they will want to come back to your channel okay so just make sure that you tell me what your content going to be based on and also have a video um, down below. I'm going to be helping out as many as I could and I promise y'all this. Like I'm not playing. Y'all already know I always try to help people like, you know, that because I didn't have no help. Like I started from the bottom, like, you know, from one subscriber, two subscriber, then just shot up from like one subscriber, two subscriber, uh, 30 subscribers and I just... Woke up the next morning with like 25K, you know, so I didn't have nobody to help me. And I also wasn't looking, you know, I wasn't asking nobody for help because most of the times, like, y'all be knowing, like, those those big uh, YouTubers, um, they, be, they be trying to tell y'all, um, subscribe to my channel, go follow my Instagram and give me, um, go DM me that you did all these things and why should you be the one that da 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 and they don't never pick you but I'm not that big on YouTube or whatever like that so I'm gonna try to help out if I have five I'm gonna I'm gonna help out five y'all and how I'm gonna do it is um each video like each each new of my video like after this video if y'all get on it ASAP my next video I post I'm gonna have your YouTube in the box at the end of my video and i'm gonna tell them to subscribe to your channel if not i'm gonna have the link to your youtube in my bio but y'all have to participate because that's the only way that you can get help and don't be too you know like don't think that asking for help is like a bad thing because it's not too many people that's willing to help so a person that is willing to help or whatever like that take that take that help and y'all know me like y'all know me I'm a help. So that oh that's another thing, like I don't think asking for help under those big YouTubers um um posts gonna get you any help or nothing like that. So I d I wouldn't do that. You know, some well it might help because um, when I be seeing it, I go click on their YouTube channel and see what they content about. But they not going to shout you out. It's just going to be the people that's going through the um, the comments that's going to click on your thing. And y'all can also do that in my comments too. Like go check out my, my whatchamacallit and stuff like that. And if I see your comment, I pin it. Like I pin the um, comment so that your comment will be the first one that people see. You know, so that you can get a little exposure. And if they like your content and like what you're doing on your channel, I'm pretty sure that they're going to subscribe and stay there. Okay. And um, be yourself. You know, like, don't try to be nobody else. Because I'm going to tell y'all this. Like, I never told y'all this before. Bitch, get out of my fucking... I'm sorry, y'all. But this thing, this net, this fly, whatever, keep on flying in my face. Like, the fuck? But, um, I'm a, I ain't never tell nobody this, but... I started YouTube like I think 2018 really and I had like 30 some subscribers and I was studying all the other YouTubers 
like their personality how they talk like what they're doing and stuff like that and i found myself trying to become one of them instead of being myself so one day i was looking at my videos and i'm like bro like this not me this is not me bro like so after that i can i can go to my wish mccallis right now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all i'm telling y'all the truth i'm gonna show y'all these videos so that y'all can know that i'm not lying but this this video i mean i had i had Hold on, wait. This is it. I was talking shit. Because I was mad. Because I had uh, I had made all of my uh, old videos private. And I had like, I want to say probably 40 subscribers, y'all. That was big. You know, especially when you start from the bottom. So, I had um, like 40 subscribers or whatever. So, when I took all of my videos up off of my um, YouTube, they just start going down and down and down. And the thing about it is because I was, I took all those videos down because that wasn't me. Like, you know, like it wasn't my personality or nothing like that. And I really didn't like how I was acting on there because it wasn't me. I just thought that's what the people wanted to see. And this why I'm telling y'all to like be ourselves. Don't try to be out perfect. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody perfect. And that's what I try to give advice to everybody. Be yourself. Like, you know, like. You don't want to be like somebody else because that person is already on YouTube. You're in competition with like millions of people that have a YouTube channel. So you can't be like them. Just be yourself because a lot of people don't act like you. You know, so just be yourself. So after I deleted all those videos, I had got mad, y'all. And I had one on my YouTube channel. And this is what I was saying. Just playing though. 
I was playing, but I was for real. <laughs> because I'm like, why did y'all unsubscribe? Like, I never understood that. Like, why do, why subscribe just to unsubscribe? Why do y'all do that? <laughs> I'm ugly. But y'all, yeah, um, I was, I was, uh, I had deleted all of my videos because they wasn't me. Okay. And, like, as soon as I deleted all of those videos and I came back with my first video of being myself and my personality, y'all, that's the video that took, made me take off. I had to delete it because of YouTube. It was my, um, lingerie video. Soon as I posted my first video of myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I took off, like, for real, for real. And that's where most of y'all come from. That lingerie haul of me being myself. And ever since then, I've just been being myself, y'all. Because I'm goofy. Like, I'm a goofball. Like, I love to have fun. Like, you know, like, I'm not proper, y'all. Like, I'm not. I'm from South Park. Like, I'm from the South Side, the hood. I'm not from, you know, like... Pearland or um, Katy or Spring or nothing like that. Like, I'm not from the y'all. I'm from the hood. Like, the south side. I've been from the southwest to the south side. The southwest to the southeast. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I went to elementary, middle school, high school on the southeast. Elementary, middle school, high school on the southwest. So I don't claim no hood. I'm just a south, south, south side girl. Like, I'm from the south. Period. So, y'all, just be yourself. Just drive hard. Don't give up. Stay, stay um, dedicated. You have to stay dedicated. And I'm giving y'all advice that I need to take myself because I don't be consistent myself. But if you be consistent, you will see your numbers growing on your channel. You know, like, and that's, that's another thing. Don't just go based off the subscribers because you'll get pissed off. Because they they are unsubscribing. You'll be like, dang, why y'all not subscribe to my stuff? You know, like y'all, you'll be like, why y'all not subscribe and whatever. Like, but don't go after subscribers. You know, because your day ones, your your real supporters, they gonna be there regardless. So, and that's another thing. If you post a uh, nice content. Sometimes when you don't even post, your subscribers will still go up because you have old videos of your content. And that also draw people to uh, join your channel and your um, support system. Like like me, I don't be posting like that. But my subscribers go up every day. And I thank God for that. And I thank y'all for that. You know, so... Don't forget, y'all, if y'all really need help with y'all channel, I'm here to help y'all. I promise. I'm not playing. Like, I'm here to help y'all for real. Stop stop laughing. Stop laughing. I'm not playing for real. I'm here to help. Just do what I said do. Or do what I... Dang, do what I said do. I ain't finna tell y'all to do what I ask y'all to do. Because I want to help y'all. Shoot, for real. Even if y'all be being mean to me, and I don't know that y'all be being mean to me, like the ones that be sneaking, disliking my video every time I post y'all. I can post a 30-minute video, and I, the, po the video don't even be uploaded for about a minute, and I be having a dislike. That's because I have negative people also subscribed to my channel that be waiting for me to post to hurry up and dislike my video. And my day ones know that. Like, my day one, um, Daryl, he be getting on their ass. Yep. He like, who the hell just disliked this damn video? <laughs> he be getting mad, y'all. But yeah, I have some more, but I just know his name off top because he always come in and stuff. So yeah, don't forget y'all to do that. It was another thing that um somebody asked me. I had a lot of little questions. I thought I oh that's the thing, y'all. I'm crazy. My phone had my old phone had cracked in my purse, and when I took it out my purse. It was, um, it was like, um, you know, that black colorful screen, like my screen was damaged and it kept typing people, G, 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 K, 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 and I had got so mad because one morning it started calling people that I don't even talk to no more and I can't, I couldn't hang up, can't, I couldn't hang up the phone with them. Y'all know I talk about stuff. I was about to say I couldn't hang up the phone. I couldn't hang up the phone with them, and they kept answering the phone. And I was like, I'm not trying to call you. And I threw the dang on phone. And what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, my camera cut off, guys. But 
I was saying like my phone kept calling people that I don't want, that I didn't want to talk to, that I don't even talk to no more. And they kept answering the phone and it was just ticking me off. So um, they had answered the phone, they kept answering. I was like, I'm not trying to call you and I threw the phone. I threw the phone from in my room all the way to my dining room. And I knew it was broke after that. So it was, it was when I was taking my baby to school too. So after that, Phone was a little brokey dokey dokey and I just walked out the house and that same day I went to go buy me another phone, which is this one. But all of my um all of my questions was in my last phone. And I only remember a couple of them and this about the last one I remember. They was like, um what like what mean the most or something like something that that basically they were saying like something that means a lot to me. Not speaking on like family or nothing like that, but something that I take very serious. I take loyalty very serious, y'all. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like, I can't say I'm a Gemini because all Geminis is not the same. And like I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm like on a borderline from a Taurus and a Gemini, so I'm like really good off or whatever, but um, I take loyalty very, very, very serious. Like I'm a loyal ass, I'm a loyal person, I'm a loyal friend, you know, I'm a loyal sister, daughter, like I'm just a loyal person. Like, and anybody that know me can't say that I crossed them the wrong way. Like I, like, like, I had a little, you know, like, like I, I just don't play behind loyalty. Cause if, you ain't, if you can't be loyal, like, I'm bound to, like, you know, like, fuck you up. Like, just point blank serious, like, because you'll cross me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't expect loyalty from nobody but those who's close to me, which is, like, my husband, my family, my friends, you know what I'm saying? So, if I, if you cross me one time and I feel like you're not being loyal, like, I cut you off and I won't ever fuck with you again. Like, I go to whole nine yards. I block you and everything. And I don't talk to you no more. You know, like, because people um, from school and that knew me, like, growing up, they consider me as mean. I'm really not mean. I'm just not, I'm just not a friendly person. So if, you know, like, I can be friendly. It's easy for me to make friends because of, like, my sense of humor and the way that I come off and stuff. But I feel vibes. So to protect myself and protect my, you know, my my craziness and stuff, y'all, I'm being completely honest. Like, to protect me or whatever like that, I just don't involve myself with people. Because especially, like, females, niggas too, because I have a man. But females, I have nine sisters. So if I give you the opportunity to be a friend to me or something like that, you got to mean something to me because I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of females. I grew up with a whole bunch of females. So it's like I'm tired of females. You know what I'm saying? So if I give you a privilege of calling you my friend or anything like that, consider yourself as special, like somebody special to me. You know, because I don't just have friends like that and I promise to God. So, you know, like I, I take loyalty very serious. Like very, very serious because I'm going to be loyal to you. You know? But, you know, like, I cut people off about loyalty. Like, if I feel like you ain't loyal to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what, if I feel like you ain't loyal to me, I'll cut you off. And I won't talk to you ever again. Ever again. And it's not no beef or nothing like that. It's just that you can't be in my circle because you ain't loyal enough for me. You know, you probably loyal to some people, but you ain't loyal to me. And I don't care about you being loyal to nobody else if you ain't loyal to me because they not me. And I'm going to be loyal to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's just how I roll. Like, yeah. Matter of fact, I ain't going to even get into details about nothing like that because it's really irrelevant. But... Yeah, loyalty, so.
he subscribed to my channel so he'll know who, who, who question I'm asking, answering. So it's loyalty. I take loyalty very, very serious. That's it. So y'all, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to come here and say thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Like, I love y'all. I'm happy and I'm blessed that y'all are part of the crystal inky winky winky dinky dinky inky crystal inky inky dinky 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 Like, I'm so blessed to have y'all. Like, y'all so lit. I love y'all. And we still in 30K, so that's why I'm still able to celebrate the 30K. Even though we at, let's see where we at right now. We at 38, we at 30K, no, we at 30.8K. So, yeah, I made the video right in time because soon we're going to be in 30.9K and then 31K. Thank God for that. Like, I really love y'all. I'm going to be doing a sexy wessy doxy. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a sexy uh, Christmas lingerie haul so i hope you guys are ready for that are y'all ready for that are y'all ready for that i got that and also i hope y'all ready to see a little more rose <laughs> then i have a makeup look that i'm going to do for y'all christmas makeup look don't be stealing my ideas for real for real for real don't be stealing my ideas but babies i'm not playing with y'all i'm about to be literally literally lit literally literally lit look um So that y'all can know that I am not BSing. I wrote down all of my stuff that I'm going to be doing. So all I have to do is check off. Oop! Look at that back row. <laughs> back row. <laughs> back row. Back row. <laughs> all I have to do is just check off uh yeah i'm high light 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 down but all i have to do is check off my list of the videos that i'm doing this is one of them which is the 30k celebration and i was supposed to do the q a but i all my questions ain't got destroyed <laughs> Let me check my YouTube channel and see did y'all ask. Because y'all don't be... I be posting on the YouTube story and stuff. Y'all don't be answering none of my questions or nothing. Y'all got to get it together so I can be more active. That's another thing, y'all. That's y'all fault. I don't be active like that. Too. Not just like... Okay, I got four questions. Let's see if they asked a question or they said something else. Look, <laughs> just hard headed. You just hard headed. Well, thank you anyway, Matthew Paul. He said you're cute and sexy, baby. Thank you, Anthony Robertson. You know who it is. Always in your corner. Keep it up. Sign off, Mr. Robertson. Check. <laughs> you sign off. Okay, I'm showing y'all out. Fred, Freddie G. I was like, thank y'all for 30K. I really love y'all. And he was like, no, thank you, Freddie G. Um, and, and Andre Storaventing. I was saying what your name say, but that's what it looked like it said. You say, first off, you deserve your beautiful queen for all your hard work. My question is, what made you start a YouTube channel? Thank you, Andrew Sturavita. And then his name is what it say. Yeah, I can see it. I can't pronounce it, but it's S-T. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. That is so trifling. Y'all, I told y'all I'm sick. Like, my throat hurt. Like, I'm really sick. Like, my throat hurt. But his name is spelled S-T-U-R-D-I-V-A-N-T. Stravant, stra, 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 I don't know. Leave me alone. 
But what made me start a YouTube channel is I love to encourage people. And if you didn't check out my little um, banner up in here, the reason why I started a YouTube channel, like a little bit about me, I'm going to read it to y'all. Y'all can find it in the about section on my YouTube channel. It say, hi, I'm Crystal Inc. I joined YouTube to make women feel confident about their self. Any, hold on y'all, my bad. Let me start our, okay. Hi, my name is Crystal Inc. I joined YouTube to make women feel confident about their self, any shape. We're all beautiful before giving birth and after. Before giving birth and after. Always be confident in the skin you're in and love yourself and others will love you more. I've went through a moment of depression after giving birth to my blessing of joy, my son, and I didn't feel sexy anymore, but I realized my body is powerful and created from God in and out this body i gave birth to the most precious thing god could have gave me and that was my son a purpose to be a mother and i'm going to wear every scratch mark every row with pride <laughs> lol i love everyone and i thank you for stopping by or even joining my empire your time mean a lot to me kisses god bless you but yeah um, um, I know that I'm not the only woman that experienced like a little depression after having kids because y'all know like once we have kids like our body changed tremendously like it don't say the same some people snap back and some people pay to get their body back how it was but I don't got it like that and I had a c-session so therefore I was I wasn't able to exercise like after I had my child to get my body back in shape because I had a C-section, they cut my stomach and I didn't want to rip my stomach open. Even though it probably was healed from the outside, the inside have to heal as well. So I couldn't do that, but I was wearing um, a little belt so that my stomach won't fall out of proportion. It didn't hardly work. My shit is still out of proportion. But um, yeah, and um. I couldn't wear um, none of the waist trainers because I couldn't, you know, destroy my stitches and stuff like that if they wasn't dissolved already. And I also messed up in when before I left the hospital, they gave me birth control and I didn't even need birth control because my husband was incarcerated and I wasn't going to be doing it or nothing like that. But um, I was on birth control for six months and I blew up. Big, 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 big. I was 187 pounds. I know y'all gonna see that the beginning of the video when they say I weighed 180 something, but I don't look as big as I did back then. It's like my face was big, my arms was big, like I was just big everywhere. And that was like the fluids. Now this is just like meat and fat, and you know, because I'm, I be eating and stuff. But I'm going to be, I'm going to start back working out. Don't worry. But yeah, I started YouTube because, you know, my body is not all perfect and stuff like that. And if I can do it, you can do it. Just love yourself. Like I say, love yourself and people will love you more because of your confidence. Your confidence means a lot. Like my camera going down. I can't go into details. I know this video is long. But y'all deserve, you know. Someone don't want to talk. It's hot. A bra, a bra, a bra. It's hot. Okay, but um, I love y'all so so very much. I thank y'all again for 30k. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yeah, I love y'all so so very much. God bless y'all, and I will be back, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Kisses. <laughs>